Hey up everybody, moving on to the next part of my micro lathe project, uh, getting towards end now. Uh, I've been meaning to have a look at this for a while now so I'm going to do all this today. It's the uh, graduation marking on the compound slide to get the angles. I just need some indicators on it so I know you know where I'm roughly where I'm working to. And also I think I'll put some graduations on the tailstock uh, barrel so I can uh, you know uh, assess how far I'm going in with any drills or anything like that. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I think I'm going to do it on my milling machine with my grinding attachment to, to put an engraver in it. Um, I've never done that really with grinding attachment on Miller so uh, I'm playing this one a bit, little bit by ear. So I'll move over to milling machine and uh, see what I can set up. Right let's have a quick look what I'm faffing about at here then. Um, I've got the um, the bore where the compound slide fits in and rotates. I've got that running true now to my router stroke grinder which I've clamped to my milling head. So that's set true to that. I've also set my clock along, the, along these faces to get it true with the Y axis. So in theory now I should be able to put a engraving tool in my router uh, starting off at, at the center and grind a line in and then use my dividing head not my dividing head my rotary table to mark off the degrees and put marks on on this diameter if that makes sense anyway we'll uh, we'll see if it works
Okay, let's have a little bit of an update here. Um, I've put the degrees in fives. If I'd have put them in ones, it would have all blended into a, just one big groove because I'm limited for space. So I've, I've done them up in increments of five degrees uh, and I've marked them off instead of putting 0, 10, 20, 30, I've just put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that represents everything with a note on. I couldn't get number 6 on there to get 60 degrees because I've run out of material and I didn't want to stamp it and just get half the number 6 on, so I've left that blank. I can get that back on lane now and then I'm going to do my, uh, my tail stock. Similar process, but I'll have to put my dividing head on for that, I think. Well that's it for this part then, I think in the next part I'm going to make some brass nameplates for it, uh, I'll probably name this lathe in the next video, so um, if you found that useful and interesting give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd appreciate that, and I'll catch you on the next part to this then, thanks for watching, bye for now.